Look at the salad that was just done. Is not day before yesterday. Go to the market. Just, just go and price the module of rice, beans, yam. Even the rams that were killed on the on the salad day, you will see a ram of four and fifty thousand naira. Where are we going in this country? We are selling ordinary ram for four fifty, two fifty thousand. Somebody was being named that he is always happy when uh, when unbelievers are being killed. You see the creator, but he's serving under the same government. The people spoke over the social media, newspaper, everywhere. But the government is just pretending as if nothing is happening. And the present administration, they are not doing well. They are not doing anything at all. Because if you look at what is happening in Nigeria now, there is no any adequate security. No security. People are not safe. You can't travel from your own state. Come to Abuja. You can't say that you wanted to go and do a business without no fear. Every part of Nigeria now is not safe. Traveling in the night is very, very dangerous for now. As men are full everywhere. I was a victim in 2020 in Edo, in El. We are some full and gang up in El Forest. As I'm talking to you now, my elder brother is a journalist. He was a victim too. We were six in numbers. All this full learning came with AK-47 with cutlass. Stop our vehicle in the night, rob us, collect all our valuable things. Even kidnap two of us to the forest, demanding for ransom. So, what are we talking about? And see yet, the president was still saying that they are fighting on they are fighting about security. What was he doing in office? If President Muhammadu Buhari knows that he cannot do this job, he should leave the office and allow the another person who can do it well to come here. Because now everybody was scared of this country. From here to Anambra. From here to any part of north is very, very dangerous for anybody to travel. We are not safe. The country is very bad. The economy is worst. Look at the salad that was just done. Is not day before yesterday? Go to the market. Just, just go and price the module of rice, beans, yam. Even the rams that were killed on the on the salad day. You will see a ram of four and fifty thousand naira. Where are we going in this country? We are selling ordinary ram for four fifty, two fifty thousand. Something that are not supposed to be twenty five or thirty k has been sold four fifty, two fifty. So to me, this administration are failed. Nigeria should open their eyes on twenty twenty three, not to continue bringing this the same party come to power again. These things are happening, but yet the government is pretending to be silent as in not knowing anything about it. If somebody from somewhere will go and sit down with the bandit, discuss with them, and these are people we've been wanting to see them and get them at hand, but somebody will go and sit down with them, discuss, come out in the public and say that he has gone to so so. Position yeah, where they are, where they are, go to in fact, not even one or two points. Sitting down with them, talking, telling, in fact, they will even tell him what their demand. And again, they've been having issues of arresting some, but later they will go and release them. Yet the government will not say anything about it. And number three, the, the, the third one that he is even paining me. The officials in government, somebody was being named that he is always happy when uh, when unbelievers are being killed. Is he the creator? Whatever they are doing, but there are a lot of fear in the life of Nigerians. 
is nobody is nobody is safe. Irrespective of where you where where you where you find yourself, whether in the city or in the village, is a is a, a serious situation that we are into. It has not been like this before. The situation now is too serious. And secondly, the economic situation of the country is not friendly to anybody now. Things are so difficult to Nigerians, and Nigerians are not finding things easy. I know once in a while we encounter, encounter these situations, but this, this particular one is too severe to all Nigerians. If the government will not take action about it, God will hold them responsible. And the judgment, God's judgment is far different from what they are seeing. And the last thing I will say that they should just wait. It's just a matter of time. Except people will be so full enough to bring them into power. They we are seeing the same complaint that the other government, I'm not a, a party member of any political party. But somebody promised that in six months. The bandit triboko haram, everything will be stopped. But when they came, it's on the increase on daily basis. And we are pretending. Like I'm in fact I don't deceive myself and I I'm not a pretender. And I have to say the truth. If they don't do anything about it, go to help them responsible. There's something, something that is lacking in this country. That's to, to provide job for the youth. That is what is causing this problem. If there's provision for it, for the job, things will not be like this the way it's doing. How everybody okay. wants kidnapping and uh, okay. every other become uh, the things of the system now. Every day, people, Nigerians die on a daily basis in this country. And uh, I was, uh, for government to be sitting down now and be, you know, and not label them as terrorist groups, I think it's not a step in the right direction. You know, they are killing people, they don't care about people's life. I think government should declare them terrorist group so that, uh, you know, uh, it will be hearing people dying every day. And uh, nobody has been prosecuted, nobody has been arrested. I think, uh, I think there is policies there.